It's beautiful. <laughs> so here we are, Montreal Summit Woods in a part of Montreal called Westmount. And I, Patrick Barnett, am with my friends, Heather McDonald, educator, and Richard Swift, journalist. So, well, we'll start with you, Heather, very quickly. Yes. What's your view of the climate crisis now in the headline? Oh, shocking, scary, desperate, we're not doing enough. And what is the thing that most stands out for you as a measure of the crisis? Well, change of bird life, um, change of uh, water levels, uh, change of air. Quality. Change of everything, huh? Yes. Yeah. Uh, Richard, you've been writing about this for New Internationalist and other places. What what strikes you about the climate crisis now? Well, in the immediate term, I guess this uh, distressing uh, invasion that Putin has launched of Ukraine has every country in the world ramping up their military spending, which is exactly what we don't need to do if we're going to uh, have any effect on checking emissions or having some kind of alternative living that lets us live with our means. Uh, military spending is not even counted as part of the emissions uh, project. Thanks. Now you told me about that. So let's say you take global uh, emissions and military emissions, what percentage would that be of the total? Well, I don't know of the entire total, but in the United States, it's about, uh, I think it's 16 or 16% 16, 16 or something wow, like that. Wow, it's, it's very high. It's huge, yeah. and it's not at all counted. So it doesn't mean it's not happening. It's just not counted. Okay, a last word. One word, please, Heather, Hope. for Hope. today. Hope. Richard? <coughs> Luck. <laughs> Good, thank you.